It's good play from Oremans, the drop shot and the lob. 15-30. Well, that's a champion for you when you see him come up after a tough point with a service winner. The shot that Monica hits so well is the bouncing overhead. She always puts that away for her. up and out of her chair telling her way to concentrate because I think Monica thought she didn't get a call and played on and uh, just kept her concentration. Game point now for Sellis. Orman's probably made a bad decision. She let one bounce she thought was going to be wide in that last rally. Didn't overplay it right in the middle of the court towards the sideline. Sellis holding on to the break advantage. Up a set and 4-2 for the United States. Coach Billie Jean King looking on. She's pretty pleased with things so far in the first day of this 98 Fed Cup tie with the Netherlands. Oh, we got a piece of fern that's blown out onto the court. A little bit of housekeeping from Miriam Ormans. 30-15. has time to set up. There isn't anybody that hits the ball cleaner, harder, closer to the lines. And this is why, boy, she's got those quick wrist snap. She's got such a great feel around the ball. And that's why she's working so hard on her fitness, just to allow her to get in better position for every ball. to the one-hander because of the tough, forceful shot from Ormans, giving Ormans a game-going opportunity here to stretch her lead to 5-2 in this second set. Surfaces as she got to her second career final last year on uh, Ross Mullen, the only tournament played in Holland, grass court tournament just before Back in 93, she had that terrific run at Eastbourne, her other, her only other career final. I think she had a win over me there. Yeah, I think you were hurt though. Thank you. Oh dear, just a total breakdown in the serve in this game. That's a third double fault just in this game alone, sixth overall. That's a real mess. And again, sometimes when a, a player, the wind is at your back the way it is here, a server doesn't like that too much. You've got to sort of finesse the serve in a little bit more. You can hit out more from the other side. See another one that goes long. Now there's got to be a lot of junk in the mind of Oramans as she goes up to hit this second serve. shot right here. Sellis is going the wrong way and just read that beautifully. Nice little feel. Press that forehand volley into the open court. <laughs> Sounds like New Year's at Keough Island. It's not. It's just the Dutch fans happy that their player has a game point. go for 
score at all. So far out of court, Ormans was. Pretty good effort to hang in a service game when you double faulted three times. Her teammates look on. Not much you can do from there except yell occasionally and clap. Otherwise, you suffer. Surprise and Ormans now is looking at another break point. Yes, Monica. Mary Mormons disgusted because her Netherlands team needs a win. They're down one love already and Monica Sellis just one game away for giving the United States a one love lead. The kids love it. They're watching their team. Looking like they're going to have a second win in the Fed Cup. Monica Sellis up 6-1-5-2 on Miriam Ormans of the Netherlands. USA trying to seek revenge on a loss last year in the opening round to the Netherlands. Pam Shriver, Betsy Nagelson has just crept downstairs so we can talk to what looks like a victorious Monica Sellis, courtside. Thank you. gets into the front row of the USTA box. Somebody makes a pretty decent catch. Well, actually, they dropped it. I changed my mind. They're looking for it. Two points away from a victory for the United States. Winner gives herself triple match point, herself and the United States. Sellis because she knows once you're up to love in the Fed Cup it's nearly impossible to come back it's only been done once before high fives or medium fives for all her teammates and practice partners and trainers